Good morning. Good morning. I had mentioned that one of the sheep over got mites. And I'm a firm believer if one sheep gets something, you treat them all. So we did. I do see a little bit of um, one of the other sheep that might have it a little bit. I do think we got it in time. We're still treating them. You almost have to treat something three times because you get it right away and then you get the babies and then one more time for good measure. Do you see that? Fog? It's not fog. That's like the fires from the smoke from the fires in Canada and I have to tell you it's it smells. It smells out here. I, it smells. <laughs> Well, I'm so excited. The summer, how we mark the summer off, you know, is going to the Farmer's Parade. And I promised my friends who couldn't make it that I would put it on YouTube. There was 75 tractors, 70 from separate farms. And I have to say, it's just a wonderful time. We meet up with friends. Uh, a lot of times we eat together afterwards. And uh, every year we say we're going to put a tractor in the parade, and every year we don't. But I think next year really is the year. Our daughter's on vacation, and her husband's going to take a tractor, and we are, and our friend Ron and Sarah, who they're the couple that always graciously give us all that wood. Uh, they have a beautiful tractor, and okay, and Eli's trying to get out. <laughs> Eli. Oh, my goodness. Anyhow, so I wanted to show you the tractor parade, and I tried a rhubarb recipe from a newspaper, and I'll be honest with you, it didn't turn out. So after three or four times of having company, they were all guinea pigs, and I tried it again, and I made up my own recipe, made it in a cast iron skillet. Oh, and I just want to thank you for all the emails where everybody said that you miss the farm vlogs and the recipes. And even my friend Sarah said, hey, I haven't had a recipe for a while and one from a cast iron skillet. So you, everybody can thank Sarah for this rhubarb recipe that I made in a cast iron skillet. It's so easy to convert things to a cast iron skillet. And somebody asked me, like, uh, how I got into the habit of always trying to cook in a cast iron skillet. Well, my mom did use one a lot, but years ago I was diagnosed with a blood problem and I fight anemia. And, you know, it's cast iron and I'm just, I think it really helps. I really do. So anyhow, uh, here's a video of our family time and uh, the tractor parade and the rhubarb recipe. Rhubarb crisp in a cast iron skillet. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for all your emails, your comments. I'm working on three videos that I'm editing. We were at Jenny Curry's in Ohio, who her shop and her house and her gardens are beautiful. So I'm trying to separate all that and edit it. And hopefully those will be our next three videos. And over the 4th of July, you know, she had all this... Uh, she has a 4th of July patriotic open house that we went to, and it's beautiful. So um, enjoy the video, and again, thanks for being here. Please subscribe and share, and enjoy your day. It's over. He does love lovin's. You have your own fan club, Oliver. Did you know that? Oh my gosh, she is like a dog. You have anything to say to anybody? You do look like you're getting better. Yes. I can't take you, though, to a fair, can I? No. I wouldn't want anybody else to get mites. You're such a good boy. When it's dark, when it gets dark, we lock them in at night. Oh, we have coyotes in the area.
Now, Annabelle and Oliver here have become inseparable. They stay up together. They go down together. They wait for each other. It's just so, it's just so endearing and so lovely. They're good buddies. Okay, kids, you did a good job. Did you know the silk, that there, every silk is a kernel of corn and the tassel falls off onto the silk and that's what makes the corn. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm so excited. It's rhubarb season and I love rhubarb. I don't, I think people either love it or hate it. I, I don't know anybody that's in between, but I love the tartness and I also love lemon things. So I have a whole page that I cut out of Lancaster Farming newspaper, although we're in the other end of the state. And they're all rhubarb recipes and so many of them look so good. I am very curious about rhubarb beef and honey chicken. I don't know about you, but I think that it's so pretty. I just love the red and the green and oh, I can't wait to try it. It's a new recipe called rhubarb crunch. I'll let you know how it turns out. <laughs> Well, I tried a new rhubarb recipe and I didn't like it, so I'm making up my own. And I'm making it in a cast iron skillet. Well, it looks beautiful. It smells wonderful. I hope it's going to taste good. Oh, I think this would be wonderful with ice cream or whipped cream. Well, if it tastes good, I'll be sure to put the recipe in the description. And here's hoping. Sometimes making a recipe just isn't, I don't know, just doesn't work out. So I decided to make my own recipe. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. I put the recipe in the description. And I'll probably share this on Instagram and Facebook. It's really good. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going, hon? We're going to the tractor parade. <laughs> <laughs> getting a snack before that. Mushrooms and french fries. Don't get no better. <laughs> and uh, what tractors do you like? Oh, you know me. Uh, <laughs> I like the green ones. <laughs>
that was just a little bit of the parade and we had so much fun. Hopefully next year my daughter and her family won't be on vacation and they'll be in the parade. We have local milk haulers and when they come you always know it's the end of the parade. Thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. I can't wait to see you next time and please support your local farmers. Have a great day everybody.